Hello, my name is Julia and this is Fix My Finance. In today's video, we will be talking about the concept of net worth, how you can calculate your net worth and ways to start building your net worth today. So let's get into it. Net worth is the total value of a person's assets minus the total value of his or her liabilities. You won't use this to make many day-to-day -day decisions, but it is a useful snapshot of where you are at financially. So, at the simplest level, your net worth is the monetary value of your assets minus your liabilities. An asset is anything of value that you own that can be converted into cash. This can be cash, savings, investments, but also your house or car. A liability is something that you owe somebody else, i.e. these are all your debts, including credit cards, loans, your mortgage, and student loans. You can calculate your net worth by subtracting your debts from your assets. If your assets exceed your liabilities, you will have a positive net worth. Conversely, if your liabilities are greater than your assets, you will have a negative net worth. Let's make this easier by way of an example. Take Laura. Laura is 25 years old, full-time employed, and she rents an apartment in London. She has about £2,000 in her pension and £1,000 in savings. She also owns a used car worth £6,000, but she still owes £5,000 on it. She is also still paying down £44,000 in student loans and she owes £500 on her credit card. So her assets are £9,000. £6,000 for the car, £2,000 for the pension and £1,000 for savings. Her liabilities are £49,500. £5,000 for the car loan, £44,000 for the student loan and £500 for the credit card. Therefore, Laura's net worth today is negative £40,500. Now, if you're in a similar situation and you have a negative net worth, there is no need for panic. It is quite normal to have a negative net worth when you are young, especially if you are a young earner with a substantial amount of student loan debt. The important thing here is that the majority of your debts are investment debts, meaning you have invested into your human capital by financing your degree, and you're likely to see your income rise substantially over your career trajectory as a result. Getting an overview of your net worth is useful as it can point out if you're using too much consumption debt and you're overborrowing on your credit card bills and not paying them down. This is dangerous as it creates a debt spiral where you are living beyond your means every day, increasing your liabilities without gaining any assets. This decreases your net worth even further into the negative every month. If this is the case, you should seriously analyze your current financial situation and how you might be able to cut some of those consumption costs or increase your income. So what should you be aiming for? As we touched on already, your net worth is likely to be negative when you are younger and starting out your career. But what should you be aiming for at different stages of your life? This will be heavily dependent on where you live and how many dependents or children you have. According to the BBC, the median net worth of an adult in the UK builds up over time and peaks at the age of 60, just before going into retirement, when you will start drawing down on that net wealth. As you can see in the graphic, the median wealth per adult in the UK reaches £340,000 between 60 and 70 years of age. Whether this is the number to aim for in your circumstances is heavily dependent on your lifestyle and daily expenses. It also depends on when you're aiming to retire. At a high level, and again, this may be different based on your circumstances, here's what you should aim for at various levels of your life, based on a normal retirement age around 60. By the age of 30, you should have half of your salary in savings. By the age of 40, two times your salary, the age of 50, four times your salary, and the age of 60, six times your yearly salary in savings. If you're looking to retire earlier, you will need to account for that by increasing your savings rate faster in life. To recap, generally your net worth will start off quite low, under the age of 30, and then steadily grow in your 40s. Once you hit your 50s, your net worth will begin a sharp ascent that ends with a comfortable retirement. Of course, there will be fluctuations along the way as you take on a mortgage, build credit and find other priorities. Your net worth will almost certainly take a dip if you decide to have children, but it should recover as they grow up. I hope this video was helpful in explaining the concept of net worth, how to calculate it and what you should be aiming for. If you learned something new today, please give the video a like. Also, please leave any questions in the comments section down below. For more videos about personal finances, how financial products work, and how to take control of your financial future, please subscribe down below. I'll see you here next time, when it's time to fix some finances.